Alright, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're talking about the Tier 8 medium tank, the Borasic, even though it seems like an almost light tank, just because of the way it looks, and to me, it's pretty much a bad chance, just at Tier 8, and I feel like this tank is very, very strong, and if you like these types of tanks, you should definitely, definitely have it. So why is this tank strong? The DPM is definitely not going to be one of its stronger sides. It has one of the worst DPMs among tier 8 medium tanks at 1,900. Same with the penetration. I wouldn't say it's uh, insanely high. It's also somewhere in the middle, maybe below average per se. So you have 190 uh, with uh, no calibrated shells. But of course, since this is a drum, you would run this at calibrated so, of course, you would have 200, which is, again, you know, pretty okay. It's all right. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's not uh, super bad. It's somewhere in between. But what's most important is that you have 320 damage, one of the highest among, uh, you know, medium tanks at tier 8. But on top of that, you get two shells with a magazine reload time of 18 and a half, which might seem a lot. However, the interclip is only two seconds. So in just two seconds, you're able to do 640 damage. In a tier 8 medium tank, which flies around the map at, uh, you know, something like 60 kilometers forward. That is very, very good. And of course, you pay off with absolutely horrible armor. Um, and I wouldn't say the mobility is like light tank mobility per se, right? It has good mobility. As I said, 60 kilometers forward is the best among mediums. But it's still not enough to be able to call this tank a light tank. It looks like a light, but it doesn't drive around like a light. That's what I'm going to say. Now, what are the other disadvantages? I mean, you get some pretty bad aim time and some pretty bad dispersion levels. Again, one of the worst among tier 8 mediums. So in, in terms of that... By the way, Huawei are running a cool discount for you guys. You guys can get coupons giving up to 30% off and up to 5% back in Huawei points, which is really, really cool. All you have to do is go through the link below in the description, of course, and in the comment section below pinned. And uh, you do have to use PayPal or use a VPN to any European countries. Otherwise, you might not be able to get this discount. Good luck and enjoy. I mean, you do have a complicated tank to play. But apart from that, it is very fun because what you can do is run around, uh, use your speed, smack someone for 640 and run away. That's all you have to do. Your mobility allows you to do that. And uh, the gameplay is very fun. This is pretty much what the T49 should have been. But uh, we get the Borasic instead. It's very fun. You can farm credits on top of that. And overall, the gameplay is just very, very fun. I wouldn't say... You know, you're going to rack up insane amounts of damage simply because your DPM is not really there. But if you want wins or you want to have some fun uh, and especially play in a platoon, I feel like this tank would be especially good for you. Now, as I said, the armor profile is not the greatest. So you really have to be scared of, uh, you know, highly HE uh, shooting tanks. So your sides, maybe your fronts even will easily be penned by the ISU and you're pretty much going to go straight to the garage if uh, if you get caught by someone because again, minus 1k HP against you is going to leave you with like 400 HP. So when it comes to that, you really are going to suck. Now, as I said, this tank is not a light, this tank is not a light, and that is also evident from the view range. So again, it's pretty mediocre on this thing, so keep that in mind. Overall, very fun tank and very enjoyable. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this, and with that, happy is out, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye.